Science 3. Uses of various science equipment and materials used in simple science activities. In this lesson, you will perform a simple science activity using common materials like balloons, modeling clay, and marbles. We're going to explore something fun. We're going to have fun learning about different kinds of balls. We will look closely at a balloon, a ping pong ball, a marble, and a clay ball. Even though they are all round and ball-shaped, they are actually very different. Some are soft, some are hard, some bounce, and some don't. Some are light like a feather, and others feel heavy in your hand. We will use our different senses touch, sight, and hearing to describe what each ball is like. Use your eyes to look at them, your hands to feel them, and listen to the sound they make when you tap or shake them. Are you ready to discover the cool characteristics of these balls? Let's find out how each ball is the same and how they are different. Characteristics of a balloon. Light. A balloon is not heavy, so you can carry it or hold it easily. Soft. When it's not filled with air, it feels soft and floppy. Stretchy. You can blow air into it and it gets bigger because the balloon can stretch. Colorful. Balloons come in many bright and fun colors like red, blue, yellow, and more. Smooth. When you touch a balloon, it feels smooth on the outside. Can float. If it's filled with helium, a special gas, the balloon can float up into the air. Can pop. If you squeeze it too hard or poke it, the balloon can burst and make a loud sound. Characteristics of a ping pong ball. Small. A ping pong ball is little, about the size of a big grape. Light. It doesn't weigh much, so it can float or bounce easily. Hard but thin. It feels hard when you touch it, but it's made of thin plastic. Smooth. The outside of the ball is very smooth to touch. Round. It is a perfect circle, like a tiny white or orange ball. Bouncy. When you drop it, it can bounce up and down. Hollow inside. The ball is empty inside, not solid. Can roll. Because it's round, it can roll across the table or floor. Characteristics of a clay ball. Soft. A clay ball feels soft and you can press or shape it with your fingers. Heavy. It's heavier than a balloon or a ping pong ball. Round. It's shaped like a ball, nice and round. Smooth or bumpy. You can make it smooth or leave it bumpy, depending on how you shape it. can be shaped. You can squeeze, roll, or change its shape easily. Not bouncy. A clay ball does not bounce when you drop it. Solid inside. It's full all the way through, not hollow. Sticky. When wet. If the clay is wet, it can feel a little sticky.
Characteristics of a marble. Small. A marble is a tiny ball that can fit in your hand. Hard. It feels very hard and you can't squish it. Smooth. The outside is shiny and smooth to touch. Round. A marble is perfectly round like a little ball. Heavy for its size even though it's small, it feels a bit heavy. Made of glass Most marbles are made of glass and look clear or colorful. Colorful marbles often have pretty colors or swirls inside. Can roll because it's round and smooth, it rolls easily on the floor or table. Let's try some activities. How does air make things move? In this activity, you will play with balloons and explore how the air from a balloon can make things move. Balloons come in many sizes, colors, and shapes. They are made of different materials like rubber or plastic, and are filled with air. In this lesson, you will use a balloon, some modeling clay, a ping pong ball, and a marble in performing a simple science activity. Materials Balloon, ball of modeling clay, ping pong ball, marble, chalk. Procedure Part A clay or ping pong ball. 1. Make a ball of clay the size of a ping pong ball. 2. With a ruler, draw a straight line across a smooth surface, tabletop. This will be the starting line. Place two long umbrellas, or line up books, between the starting line to create a track. Place the ball of clay and the ping pong ball side by side on the starting line. Four. Blow up two rubber balloons to about the same size. Pinch the mouth of the balloons to keep the air inside. Five. Hold one inflated balloon with its mouth directly on the side of the ping pong ball. Six. Release the air and observe how it pushes the ping pong ball across the floor. Mark the spot where the ping pong ball stopped with a chalk. Seven, do steps three to six, this time using the ball of clay and the other balloon. Eight, do several trials. Share your observations with your classmates. Work together to answer the following questions. Which ball rolled farther from the starting line? Why do you think this happened? Part B Clay or Marble 1. Pinch off from the clay ball in Part A and make a smaller clay ball the size of a marble. Two, do steps three to six in part A, comparing the smaller ball of clay and the marble. Three, share your observations with your classmates. Work together to answer the following questions.
Guide questions. Which ball rolled farther from the starting line? Why do you think this happened? How does air from a balloon make things like clay, ping pong ball, and marble move across the floor? You have performed a very simple science experiment to explore how air from a balloon can make objects like ping pong balls, marble, and balls of clay move or roll across the floor. You may have felt the air rush out from the balloon and saw how it pushed the balls across the floor. Even though two balls may have the same size, the lighter one will roll much farther than the heavier one. Have learners look around the classroom. Which objects or things can you push and pull? What makes a table, like the teacher's table, difficult to move, like push or pull? Why do you think it is heavy? Generalization Evaluation.